for American companies operating in Israel-Palestine. Resolving deep-seated issues is well beyond the power of their responsibility. But there is something well within their abilities that is both productive and positive. Adopting fair employment practices. Through appropriate policies, these companies can communicate a commitment to equality. Nothing more, nothing less. That's what the Holy Land Principles are about. In the Holy Land Principles, there are no political statements. This isn't about quotas, reverse discrimination, disinvestment, or boycotting. Instead, the Holy Land Principles are pro-Jewish, pro-Palestinian, and pro-company. The Holy Land Principles are based on the McBride Principles, which have been so effective in increasing fair employment in Northern Ireland. These same principles have also been adopted by global leaders in many industries and have been passed by the Republican-controlled U.S. Congress and signed into law by Democratic President Bill Clinton in 1998. The Holy Land principles are straightforward. First, they call for the implementation of non-discriminatory employment policies. They also contain a request to identify underrepresented groups and to increase efforts to recruit and train them. In addition, there are pledges to maintain a respectful work environment, ensure that terminations are non-discriminatory, to not make military service a prerequisite for employment, and to not accept subsidies or similar benefits that are tied to preferring a particular group. Finally, the Holy Land Principles call for the appointing of staff to manage implementation and adherence to the principles. Fair employment is beneficial to corporate well-being and to relationships with the community at large. The Holy Land Principles are perfectly consistent with environmental, social, and governance ESG issues and are a practical application of the Ruggie Principles. In short, the Holy Land Principles boil down to this. American principles should follow American investment in the Holy Land. Who could argue with that? For more information, please contact us. Join us in our mission to get all the 545 companies doing business in Palestine, Israel, to sign the Holy Land Principles.